You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. Hey yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, man. And today what we gonna do, man, we gonna do some exporting us some MIDI files from Machine to Logic. So I've been having a lot of artists in the studio, man, working on songs and albums and stuff, man. And uh, I don't really have time to make my beats in Machine right now, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's my go-to, I don't really have time to make them in Machine fully because I need to have as many beats on deck as possible because I got multiple artists in here. I got R&B and hip-hop going on at the same time. So basically what I've been trying to do, man, is make all of my beats over in Logic so that they already tracked out and ready to go. So I started this beat the other day, man, messing with these cards right here. And I'm going to let you hear them real quick. So those are the cards right there, man. And uh, so basically what I did is I just exported those babies out, man, and dropped them over into Logic. So once you got them created the way you want them, you can just go right here to whatever track it is, and you're going to right-click, and you're going to go to Export MIDI. And once you go to Export MIDI right there, it's going to ask you where you want to save it to. So right here, you can you can make it des not desktop. You can name it, and then you can make it desktop. You can send it to one of your external hard drives or wherever you want to send it, and then save it. And that's where your file is going to be under that name when you get in your other program. So let's close this because I already saved it. And then we can get out of machine, man. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you over to Logic. And let you see what I basically let you hear what I created using these same chords right here. And basically, man, here you go, man. I mean, this is what we ended up with. Let me let you hear them real quick. Here's the chord. So that's the chord right there, man, that we started with. And here's the track that I made.
Yeah, you got to excuse me today, man. I got this microphone hooked up here, man, that I'm not used to whatsoever. It's a pencil microphone, small diaphragm. It's a asshole to work with. I got to get me a microphone for my desk. I got my other mic back in the booth for my artist, man. So I had to take my mic off my desk, put it back in the booth with the other microphone for the artist. So... That's just what I'm left with, man. So I got to I gotta order me a microphone for my desk this week, man, so that I can continue doing videos because I can't keep pulling it out of the booth, man, because I got people in here too much right now. So bear with me with this microphone. This video might be a little janky, but I just wanted to show you how to export MIDI files from one dog to the next and finish your idea and do your thing. I'll make another video going into like how I chopped up different samples and did all that, chopped up different MIDI notes and stuff and did all that. And I'll show you how to show you how to actually get in logic and cut up MIDI notes and stuff and 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 actually add variation to your track and stuff. But for this video, it's just about showing you that you can sh start your your actual project in a DAW, and if you don't want to use that DAW, you can go to the next DAW and just drop the beat, man. So that's it for this video, man. Like I always say, man, don't just be a producer, be productive. Get in that lab, be working on some, turning some knobs, man, doing some, handling your business. And uh, like always, man.